It was inconceivable that tomorrow he would be walking into the Royal Albert Hall to rehearse with the London Philharmonic Orchestra. Flynn was overcome with a feeling of dread so strong that his limbs seemed to be in a kind of torpor and his brain felt like it was working in slow motion. Everything seemed to be a huge effort, just sitting up on the sofa, gazing blindly through the living room window at a couple of bare, ugly trees was absurdly exhausting. Yet he had slept more in the last 24 hours than the whole of the previous week and knew that more sleep would bring little relief. He felt chilled to the bone but couldn't even be bothered to get up and turn up the heating or fetch a jumper. Anything in the least bit positive or proactive lay completely beyond his reach. In fact, after some reflection, he realised that the only two things he felt able to do were think, black and negative thoughts, and cry. The thoughts just kept welling up of their own accord, a constant, steady flow. The pressure behind his eyes reminded him that tears were never far away. He managed to hold them back, but only through fear that Harry might suddenly walk through the door. It was suffering in its simplest, purest form, and all he could feel was the pain, unidentifiable by its cause or exact location, but present all the same, permeating his every pore. I can't. The two words seemed permanently lodged inside his head. I can't play tomorrow. I can't go to the rehearsal. I can't tidy the flat. I can't go for a run, and I sure as hell can't practice. He kept his eyes purposely averted from the keyboard in its corner, but its mere presence weighed upon him like a physical ache. Part of him hated the thought of anyone seeing him in such a pathetic state, even Harry, but another part of him wished for Harry's return in the hope that it might provide some relief, if only temporary, from his unbearable self.